There's actually three audiences or niches is another word you can think of that I want you to be aware of. And you need to know which one you're going to be targeting. So there's the first audience is called the mass market. The mass market or another word for the mass market is the middle 60%. The middle 60% is essentially like saying I target almost everyone, right? I target people who are, you know, provided they're, they're just a normal person, doctors, nurses, uh, teachers, uh, truck drivers, um, like just normal people. The middle 60%. These are people who earn normal income, they live in normal houses, they drive normal cars, right? So they're just the normal people. And if we think about the normal place to go shopping, it might be Amazon. So it's just that normal place, right? Normal pricing. So this is the uh, middle 60% of the marketplace. Now, my hypothesis is this is a terrible place to start. You do not want to be in the middle 60%. There's two other markets that I want you to be thinking about or audiences. One is called, the next one is called a niche audience. So a niche audience is a, um, an audience that is uh, two things. Number one, they are passionate about something. They're passionate about a topic and they're willing to attend an event or join a group, right? So they're so passionate about something that they're willing to attend an event or join a group. So let's say um, uh, these are parents and they're passionate enough to join a parents group on Facebook, or they're passionate enough to attend a parenting event, right? So there's something about them that makes them go, yeah, I'll attend an event or I'll join a group. Um, and then the second thing about these group of people is I want them to be earning in the top 20%. So they need to be earning 20% or above incomes. So this is what, these are the two first ingredients that make a good niche um, or niche if you're in the US. <clears throat> Um, and then the final audience that's a really powerful one, most of you will not be able to do this one, but if you can, it's a great audience. And that is the luxury market. So the luxury market is people who earn top 1% income and they're concerned with status. They want to deal with the best. They want to have the best or the most award-winning or the most expensive um, or the, most, uh, the one with the most pedigree, the one who's been delivering the TED talk, um, you know, the, the top the top of the tree, right? They want the best. So they're 1% income earners and they want the best. They want status. So have a look at this example. Let's take something silly and innocuous like skipping ropes. So if we go to Amazon, we find a skipping rope that is £5.60. Um, that's a mid-market skipping rope. There's no profit in £5.60. Amazon takes 30%. The production of the skipping rope is probably 30 or 40%. And then the marketing and distribution of the skipping rope is definitely 30, 40%. There's no room for profit when it comes to £5.60 skipping ropes. Um, but let's have a look at a niche market. A niche market would be a rogue skipping rope, which is specifically for people who do CrossFit. So CrossFit fits my description. They're passionate enough to join a group. And they're also top 20% income earners because they pay about 150 a month for their gym memberships. So this is a top end skipping rope. Look how much they pay for their skipping ropes, 100 pounds. So these people pay five pounds 60. These people pay 100 pounds for the same, uh, for a skipping rope, right? So this is a niche market. And then let's have a look at the luxury market. So the luxury market, Loro Piana is a luxury brand, um, 580 pounds for a skipping rope. So these people are paying 100 times the average for their skipping rope because they want the highest status skipping rope, right? So they're looking at the very top end skipping rope. And it's very common to see um, luxury end being 100 times the average. So for example, a couples therapist or a marriage therapist uh, would normally be say two and a half thousand for the year to go and see a couples therapist. But if you wanna go and see um, Esther Perel, she's the number one couples therapist. She's quarter of a million per year. So if you're a millionaire or a billionaire, you're going to go and get Esther Perel and spend a quarter of a million, 20 grand a month having her as your uh, couples therapist because she's the luxury end of the couples therapy. Now, it's the same across all markets, right? You'll see this in fashion that the luxury is 100 times the, the top. You'll see that, you know, the, the, the top end fitness trainer is 100 times more than the average fitness trainer. So you'll get these examples um, where the luxury tends to be about 100 times more than the average and the niche markets tend to be about 10 to 20 times more than the average. So when you begin your business, 
starting with luxury or niche markets is really, really powerful. 